Let's bring in Jared Saltalamacchia. He's a former big league catcher, longtime former big leaguer. He's now an assistant coach in his second season with the Bourne Braves in the Cape Cod League. Mark DeRosa, you said that you played, played for, for the, the Born Braves. Braves. Yeah. Changed my life. 1995, I don't go to Cape Cod. I don't think I get drafted. Really? So, so Jared, let's pick up there. How does this league yeah. help build or ferment big league dreams for, for countless of young men? Well, first of all, I appreciate you guys having me on here. It's beautiful Cape Cod, so, I mean, you can't ask for any better a uh, place to be to play a game of baseball. But, um, you know, I think this gives the guys a chance, an opportunity to kind of get away from, you know, the micromanaging of college baseball, um, you know, where it's a win now type of mentality and they get to kind of perform and, and kind of show the scouts and other, other players uh, who they are, what they're capable of doing with the wood bat. Um, you know, there's some elite players out here. So it's a lot of fun to see these guys kind of, uh, perform at such a high level and, um, you know, in confined spaces. Real quick, Jared, the, you mentioned the atmosphere. I mean, this just looks like so much fun. Just turning back the clock kind of mentality. It, it looks like just a beautiful place to watch a game. Oh, it is 100 percent. I mean, I'll be honest with you. These kids are spoiled at college. I mean, they are <laughs> at the pro elite level where they've got turf infield, batting cages, locker rooms, you know, I'm pretty sure when these guys get to the minor leagues, they're going to kind of regret it a little bit uh, or be thankful for where they came from. But, you know, this goes back to grinding baseball. You show up at 2 o'clock for early work in the high school cages with balls that are beat up, um, waterlogged. You know, you get two bats and, you know, you're grinding all day until 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock game time and, um, you know, nine innings of hard-nosed ball. Jared, do you feel like – I know for myself – it was the first time I ever put wood in my hands was when I showed up to Cape Cod. These guys are training a heck of a lot different. I mean, for most of them, is this kind of an extension of what they do, or is there some guys that are learning how to hit with wood for the first time? I think you got a good mixture, but I think for the most part, this generation has been hitting with wood since they were nine years old. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're going to these perfect game tournaments, and it's a wood bat tournament, so they're – you know, they're pretty much familiar with it. Um, there is a different, you know, aspect of it. They're in metal bats, going to regionals, super regionals, you know, high intensity, you get to the College World Series where there's, you know, thousands and thousands of fans. And then you come out here and it's, you know, um, just hills of hundreds of hundreds of fans. Um, but there is that, you know, learning point where you got to learn how to hit with a wood bat again. And, um, you know, you see guys that have velocity, you know, tend to have a little more success um, if you're able to, mix your off speeds for strike you're able to have success here as well so uh, there is a learning curve jared what about from a pure talent perspective if you were to compare the talent when you were that age to oh, this crop you're seeing wh what's the biggest difference oh man they're bigger stronger <laughs> faster <laughs> you know <laughs> faster you name it um you know they got a couple of kids on the team they're freshmen i remember mm -hmm. when i was when I got drafted, I would have been a freshman in, at Florida State, and I was 170 pounds, you know, at 6'4", 170. I mean, these kids are 6'2", 230 already. You know, we got one kid who's 240. So, I mean, um, these kids are bigger, stronger, more physical. They've got more um, data that I had when I was coming up. They've got, you know, more coaching ability. A lot of these kids are kind of taking that big league mentality where they have their own hitting coaches. Um, you know, so it, it doesn't change. It's just, you know, kind of adapting and figuring out what works for them. Do they still have to get jobs and live with families, mm -hmm. or has that changed? I had a kid last year who had a job. This year, not so much. Um, you know, they do have to pay to live with the host family. Um, they ship their cars out or drive their cars out. Um, they do some camps to make a little money here and there. But, um, no, it, it is, well... I Change. guess with the NIL deals nowadays, maybe wow. these kids have more money than we do. I had to <laughs> cut the grass at the Bourne Ice Skating Rink. That was my job. Really? Oh, okay. And, and it, you, you earned a good, honest I wage. A good, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I almost killed myself. Hey, hey, Jared, I, I always used to like watching you play, namely because when you would turn your back, your, your last name would basically start at your hip <laughs> and go all go the way hip around. Hip. Now, we yep. did have, you know, Christian Encarnacion Strand who made his debut for the Cincinnati Reds That's good. at the big league level just a few days ago. This was him at spring training. Did you get? Did you happen to see this when this young man was playing <laughs> in the spring, His uh, the name on the back of his jersey? 
I did, but first of all, that's the reason why I had to start working out. You know, 170 <laughs> frame wasn't able to hold that name up. So, um, you know, it's that's a question I got every single day in the clubhouse. How does it feel to have the longest last name? And, you know, I'm proud of my last name, but I wanted to be known for something a little bit more baseball-oriented rather than my name. But um, there's still an asterisk on that because you can't have a hyphen. You know, it's got to be one full name. Come good on. Point. That's a good, good point. point. He brings up a good point. Hey, real quick, we'll get you out of here on this one. What are you trying to – what kind of wisdom are you trying to impart on the young men that you're working with? Um, you know, like I said earlier, they, they get micromanaged at the college level. You know, you got guys who are 70, 80 percent sliders, um, you know, so I had a kid at the combine a few years ago that talked about his approach. And he said, well, you know, my approach is sit curveball and adjust to the fastball. I said, well, maybe that's why you're getting jammed inside. You know, we got to. <laughs> Got to change the approach a little bit. So uh, Matt Shaw last year, I really worked with his approach. And, you know, not only sitting pitches, but understanding when to sit pitches and what counts and what situations. Um, you know, just trying to kind of evolve the game a little bit more, you know, since I've seen it from both ends on the offensive side and defensive side. Jared, does everyone there look like Jessica Beal? No. <laughs> what? That was so upsetting. So upsetting when I came out to the Cape. I thought for sure. Freddie Prince was going. I've been looking for that bar the for Jessica Beale was, was not mowing, mowing your lawn. She wasn't outside. She was, and Freddie no. Prince looks at now. That wasn't happening. That didn't happen. When I went. No, we had guys like D. Rowe. We're cutting our lawn right now. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you have for breakfast? Uh, Starbucks. Okay, yeah, I had a little what's, your, what's your order? Starbucks. What's your coffee? So uh, coffee black venti, and then the um, the burrito, the egg burrito, bacon, egg, and sausage. It's new, and it's, it's pretty Coffee good. black, huh? Sounds it's good. It's delicious. Mm. Yeah, not bad for $35, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <Good> stars. <laughs> Jared, thank you very much for spending a little time with us this morning. It Again, it looks like just a beautiful place to, to watch uh, the great game of baseball. So enjoy the rest of your summer. Yeah.